All right, Kristen Welker is in the briefing room where uh, that briefing, the not on camera, audio only briefing has, uh, has just wrapped up. Kristen, uh, tell us what else happened in there. Well, as Hans just sort of laid out, a number of the headlines had to do with the Russia probe and also health care. Uh, given that there's going to be a delay on a procedural vote this week, uh, some proponents of the legislation are concerned that that will give opponents more traction, more time to knock this bill out. So I asked uh, Press Secretary Sean Spicer what the president was going to do about it. He said he's going to be very engaged. Take a listen to what he had to say. Is the president resigned to the idea that it seems unlikely that the Senate will vote on any type of repeal and replace bill any time in the immediate future? I, I know Senator McConnell has made it clear that he would like Senator McCain back. We obviously wish him a speedy recovery. And as soon as Senator McConnell, um, uh, as soon as Senator McCain can travel back and Senator McConnell uh, feels it's appropriate, he'll schedule that vote. We feel very confident about where we are now, and we look forward to uh, getting that bill on the president's desk and getting it signed. And, Ali, the president also saying that, uh, or Sean Spicer saying that the president is going to invite lawmakers here to the White House later this evening. We asked for a specific list, no details, uh, but he indicated he's going to be very active in these final days. Uh, that will be a difference from what we have seen over these past several weeks because the president has really let uh, Vice President Mike Pence take the lead when it comes to outreach from the White House, uh, and all eyes have been on what the president would would do next. So we'll be watching to see just how engaged he gets. But again, a lot of questions about the Russia probe. I also asked Spicer uh, if the president thinks now that this is a legitimate investigation. Remember, this is something right. that he has referred to as a hoax and a witch hunt. And Spicer sort of dodged that question, saying that it had already been answered over the weekend. It is clear this is an issue that isn't going away. That's why uh, President Trump did bring on Ty Cobb to serve uh, as sort of the outreach and the point person here at the White House on this very critical issue. Allie. Okay, Kristen, thanks very much for the update from inside the White House briefing room.